Meow, everyone. Meow. Hey, how you going? This is number six plastic. It's by actually stretched polystyrene, and it shrinks when you heat it. Whoa. Awesome. Yo, Snapchats, we're here at ATP Innovations with Meow and Daywin and Travis. Yeah. And we're gonna do a thing where we like ask each other questions. Now in Thomas the Tank Engine, what is the future of GMOs? The future of GMOs is decoupling ourselves from the environment by being able to train microbes to be able to do all the jobs that we rely on now and then be in complete control over them. What do you think is the coolest technology that is coming out now and is available to the public? I think NFC chip implants are really awesome because it's basically like having cards and keys in your finger. So I, I don't know if it's a particular technology that's interesting, but it's the convergence of them that's interesting. So how is it like implantable? Um, my coolest technology is definitely the blockchain. I think it's going to completely decentralize the world. Um, the DAO at the moment is essentially funding the decentralization of the world and redistributing power back to the people. I got disconnected from the internet. Yeah. <laughs> you find that hilarious. It's like, that was just how it went. Yeah, day, <laughs> day went 16 and never had dial-up internet. Oh no. All right, I want you guys to check out Flux, a political campaign that's allowing, uh, you know, everyday people to vote on policies as it's happening. Instead of allowing politicians to make the decisions for us, we make it for ourselves. Go. So, the next question is going to be asked by you guys. This is a paper rock to see who's going to ask it. The winner gets to do it. This is a paper rock. Oh. Question to all of you is, what happens to your digital profiles and identities when you die? Footprint is stuck there forever unless you've actually got a digital will designating your passwords and what you can do with it after you're dead. <laughs> so when you leave your digital self on the web, it continues to be computed and keeps your consciousness alive as long as that data exists. Are we on? <laughs> okay, so it gets, it gets stored and then I get rebuilt later, but probably filled with holes. So then the, the holes would have to be filled in somehow, I don't know. It gets given to the Church of Scientology, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I think we should record absolutely everything about our lives so we can actually become digitally immortal and our self evolves after we die, so we continue to live on and that becomes us. So that question is, I want to be created into a chatbot so all my family friends can uh, ask me questions in the future about what I would actually say to that answer. <laughs> and then potentially troll. <laughs> so that's a bioreactor, and how much does that cost? No fucking money. money. Well over a thousand dollars. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at a DIY bioreactor. Sugar, feed bacteria. Some yeast in some water, and then I screw that onto this nozzle here, and then inject it in, so you can actually see it squirting in. There we go. So it's filling up. So it fills up with this. The food goes into the yeast. And see it filling up in there. So that's the aerator. Yeah, and then the idea is that it becomes a chemostat. This means the level of bacteria stays the same and we can pull reagents out. Mm. So basically everything on here except for the air pump runs on 5 volts. And this means I can control it using an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to have all of the switches being run by Minecraft. So basically there'll be switches inside Minecraft that will switch on the motors. I'll have a dam that will represent how much water is in each of the jars, and there'll be a farm with cows, and each cow might represent a thousand or ten thousand pounds. Flat arc yolk. Unengaged fold cavity. Engaged. Obstacle banning enable. <sighs> Prepare yourself. Pepping iron, I guess. Soak Y quartz. Um, enable metapod. Engage. Well, they are set helio five on seven or something. Set helio pi on three. Three. Two to one. one. <laughs> um, set prisms, the prism device for two. Uh, activate into prism. What was me? <laughs> it decrease prism device to one. Glitchy glitch. That looks really good. It does. Tristan, say like hi. Yo! Sharon, say awesome hi. How awesome is this? It looks like it's intentional. 
So this is my good mate Tristan. We're here at Tyro Fintech Club with the awesome Sharon who's helping us organize yeah, yeah, yeah. Ethereum. So Tristan, what excites you most about the blockchain? Uh, yeah, so that's totally where we're actually going to see the birth of AI. The blockchain is the beginning because you're actually creating a program as its own separate identity and that's just freaking crazy. AI will be born on the blockchain. Yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be a lot it's extremely... Hey, this is Peter Zing. What up? The awesome... <laughs> So Peter, vote one, Peter Zing, Science Party, but also, what do you think is the future of government? So the future of government is about AI overlords, something that's all powerful, all knowing, and all good. Look at the Dow, look at the Dow. Uh, that's the next thing after Homestead, that's the next big like hard fork, a lot of new, a lot of new opcodes will be added in, and that's when the Mist browser is gonna be launched, so when you can actually create proper data. Yo, Snapchat, so today was fucking awesome, talking to awesome futurist people. This is kind of like my modern day Greek philosopher day. Uh, send me snaps at Futurol. See you tomorrow.